So guys, I went back to OKX to trade. Mind you, OKX has rebranded from OKX to OKX. And in the order book, I saw the trailing order type and I was wowed because this is a future that I have always wanted to use, but I have not found an exchange that has it. Now, let's say you bought Bitcoin at a very good price. You bought Bitcoin at $30,000 and you want to take profit at $35,000. So you place a limit order to sell at $35,000, then you went to sleep. Then Bitcoin got to $35,000, passed it and got to $45,000. Now you have sold at $35,000, but you are feeling bad because you could have sold at a higher price. Now what the trading stop order does is that it keeps moving your take profits up as the price goes up and only sells when the price starts falling. Now, if you still don't understand this, what I will do in this video is to show you a more visual explanation of what the trailing stop order type is and then show you how to use it on OKX. If this sounds interesting to you already, then click the like button. It is really important you do so. The more likes the video gets, the more of this type of content you get to see. Now, let's get started. The trading order type can be used in both buying and selling. It can be used to buy at a much lower price when the coin is dropping or to sell at a much higher price. When the coin is rising, there are three terms you need to be familiar with to use the trading order type. Now, number one is activation price. This is a price at which you want the trailing order to be activated. The trigger price is the actual price that the buy or the sell order takes place. And the trigger price changes continuously with regards to the market price and the variance. Talking about variance, variance is the difference between the market price and the trigger price. You can set this in percentage ratio or amount. We'll look at two examples to clarify this. Example one, let's say I want to buy Bitcoin and the current price of Bitcoin, which is the current market price, is $38,000. Let's say from my analysis, Bitcoin is going to fall to $30,000, but my fall further. So what I would do is to use a trailing stop order such that my order will not be filled at $30,000, but at a lower price if Bitcoin falls below that. In this case, I will set my activation price at $30,000 and my variance, I can choose to set it at $2,000. Thus, my trigger price is $2,000 above the market price. Now, if you look at this slide, we want to buy Bitcoin, right? And we're in the Bitcoin USDT market. Market price is $38,000. Activation price is $30,000. Variance, $2,000. And the trigger price is the market price plus variance, right? And so I want to represent the market price with a solid line and the trigger price with the dotted line. So now the price of Bitcoin is $38,000 and this fell according to my prediction to $30,000. At this price, which is the activation price, the trading order is activated. Thus, the trigger price is $32,000. That is the market price which is thirty thousand dollars plus the variance which is two thousand dollars now if bitcoin fell further to twenty seven thousand dollars the trigger price will be twenty nine thousand dollars if it falls further to twenty four thousand dollars the trigger price will be twenty six k now if the price of bitcoin start rising the trigger price will remain the same because this could fall further right say it fell further to twenty thousand dollars the trigger price will be $25,000. Let's say at this price, the Bitcoin price starts rising. It rises till it gets and cross the trigger price. At this point, my order is going to be filled. So we're going to buy at this price. So instead of buying at $30,000, because we are using the trading order type, we end up buying at $25,000. Now let me show you how to place this order on 
OKX. So guys, OKX is one of the top cryptocurrency exchanges out there. If you don't have an account yet, there is a link in the description. Make sure you use that link to sign up. It ensures that you are signed up to the right site and not a scam site and that you are also supporting this channel, right? Now, once you sign up, verify your account, then download the app and log in. This is what you're going to see. I've actually done a total review of the OKX platform. That the link to that video will be in the description below. But for today's video, we are looking at a trading order type. So this is a BTC USA market, and we want to buy Bitcoin. So when you come here, you see what where the words limit order. You click on it and choose trailing stop. So there are two types of um, trailing order. You can do it by ratio or variance, like I said. So I want to use variance, and for the variance, I want to put two thousand dollars, which is the amount. And the activation price, I want to set it at $30,000, right? Now, if I choose to leave the activation price, once I click on buy, it is activated, okay? And for the total number of Bitcoin I want to buy, I want to buy $46 worth of Bitcoin. So I click on buy. And that is it. I have created a trailing stop order to buy Bitcoin. Example two, let's say we bought Dome. Yes, Dome from the Everdome project, an awesome project. The market price of Dome is $0.061. And we want to sell this at $0.07. We could also use the trailing stop order type to sell at a higher price in case Dome gets to $0.07 and keeps going higher. So if we look at this, Second example, you see that we want to sell DOM and the market is DOM, you exit the market and the price of DOM is $0.061. Activation price is $0.07 and the variance is 5%. Now I said that you can use, variance can be in percentage or amount. And in this case, we want to use percentage. So the target price is market price multiplied by into bracket one minus 5%. We still want to maintain our lines for the market price and the trigger price. So, DOM is at $0.061. And according to our prediction, the price of DOM goes up and gets $0.07. At this point, we have hit the activation price. What happens is that the trigger price will be activated. And the trigger price here is $0.0665. And the way we got it is market price multiplied by into bracket 1 minus 5%. And let's say DOM got to $0.07 and keeps going up, got to $0.08. The trigger price will also go up, right? $0.07. Then if this start coming down, the trigger price will remain the same to not move. Then if this keeps going up, so $0.09, the trigger price cost will be $0.0855. And at this point, DOM starts to fall. Now, when it falls and crosses the trigger price, what will happen is that our DOM will sell, right? So, so instead of selling at $0.07, we have sold at $0.0855, giving us a much higher profit. Now let me show you how you can place this on the OKX platform. Now, to sell my DOM using the trading stop order, I come to this BTC US to click on it, search for DOM. So this is a DOM market. Now I click on sell. Then I want to use percentage this time around. And I'm using 5%. The amount of DOM I want to sell, I think I want to sell all the DOM I have here, which is 7,003. Then the activation price, see DOM is at $0.06. I want the activation price to be 0 0.07, just like we explained. Then I'll click on sell DOM, and that is it. I have placed a trailing order to sell DOM at $0.07 or higher. So that is a trading order type and how you use it on OKX. You see that the trading order type makes us to take more profits and buy at a better price. It is actually a very good order type that I think most exchange should also adopt. Now, OKX has 
other types of trading orders which include the limit order the advanced limit order the market order the stop order and the trigger order if you want me to explain these other types in another video let me know in the comment section below and if you have enjoyed this video so far and you want to encourage um, us to do more then give this video a like and also share the video when you like the video, it is the only way YouTube knows that the content is valuable and shows it to more people and help us to grow the channel. Also subscribe if you have not and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our time sensitive content. I'm doing research work on a coin that could do possibly 100x. Be on the lookout for that. Guys, I will see you in the next video.